In this video, we learn some keywords like experiment, random experiment, equally likely experiment, try, outcomes, and event. First, we'll start with the keyword experiment. An operation which can produce some well-defined outcome is called experiment. Just like experiment done by us in our science lab or experiments done by our scientist. Next is random experiment. An experiment is said to be random if it follows two conditions. First is more than one outcome and second outcomes are impossible to predict. For example, we are rolling a dice. We are rolling a dice, then what, what is our result? Either we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6. Then here are more than one outcome. It means more than one result we get. Second, outcomes are impossible to predict. When we are rolling a dice, we can't say that 2 is coming or 3 is coming. So we can't predict this result. Then it is said to be a random experiment. Same way, when we are tossing a coin, our result is either head or either tail. So here outcomes are or the results are more than one. And it is impossible to say, say either head is coming or tail is coming. So they are said to be a random experiment. Here when we do or when we perform any experiment, then it is said to be a trial. Suppose we rolling a dice, then rolling a dice is said to be a trial. Whenever we perform an experiment, we get some results. These results are said to be outcome. For example, when we are rolling a dice, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is our outcome. And when we collect 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then it is collectively said event. So, when we are rolling a dice, it is a trial. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 results are said to be separately outcome. And collectively, they are said to be event. The next term is equally likely outcomes. To understand this, we take an example. We are tossing a coin. Suppose we are tossing a coin 10 times. We get 2 times head and 8 times tail. But when we increase the number of times of tossing, suppose we tossing 50 times. We get 27 heads and 23 tails. When we tossing a coin 60 times, 28 times head and 32 times tails is coming. Whenever we increase the number of tossing of coin, we are seeing that the difference between number of heads and number of tails are decreasing. Here difference is 4, difference is 4, but here we see the difference is 2. Then there are certain experiments whose outcomes have equal chance of occurring, then such outcomes are said to be an equally likely outcome. Okay?